Hey, what's up guys? Synapse here. And in this video, I'm going to go behind the scenes for Soda Puppin's intro, and I'm going to show you exactly how I made it. And the video took a long time to make. Uh, it has a number of different scenes in it, all the way from Iron Forge to the Dark Portal, to this cool bullet scene coming out of the tank, all the way to some crazy 3D text. And so for each scene, there was a whole different arrangement of methods and programs that I used to make each scene. So let's take a look at the tank scene. A tank fires a bullet and here in After Effects and there's like this little vapor trail in the back to give you the idea that the bullets flying through the air so this is After Effects right here and this is what it looks like after the 3d is already done but let's take a look at what it looks like in Cinema 4d Cinema 4d really brings your edits to life because you can go in and customize the camera angles and get the textures and reflections and lights just right one trick that I do to get the lighting just right in these files, I used a battlefield scene as the background. So right here, if I take a look at what the ba background looks like, you can see it kind of matches the scene, but it's a little bit different. So stay tuned if you want to see more of this. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and follow me on Twitch so you can see me as I make these live. And being a part of the chat, you can ask questions, get a lot of feedback. There's many artists that hang out in uh, the live stream. So if I add a sky object and I add this footage to the sky and I add it on the luminance channel as well as the color channel and under this editor tab right here you can click animate preview all of a sudden the footage will play in the background as the sky and when I render this it's gonna reflect the sky off of that reflective text so you can see the blue sky off there and then so when you render this out, what you end up with is this really cool looking bullet that's reflecting the sky. The bullet itself is just a bullet that I found online and it's not really a tank shell, <laughs> but it doesn't matter because it looks really cool coming out of the tank. And that's kind of the point. Some people might realize that others may not. So if you notice something particular, such as that. Let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think about this scene. And let me know if you want to see it with your name in it. I'd be happy to make it for you. I did make a 4K background with this scene that looks super cool. And I put it up on the Sci Shop if you guys are interested. Uh, check out the Sci Shop. And here, here's what it looks like when you go to the Sci Shop. Uh, you can get this customized with your name in it. Here's a few others that I gave away on the stream with people's names. This is probably my all-time favorite background just because it's so shiny. It just looks cool. It just looks crisp. And it's 4K resolution, so it looks super crisp even on a 1080 monitor. And there is also a physical sky that's enabled here. And the reason I put a physical sky here is just for the sun with a compositing tag. Even though you can't, the camera doesn't see it. It's still contributing some light onto the scene, which is pretty cool. So if I toggle it off, you can see that the scene gets a lot darker. Toggle it on and you get this really cool reflective light over the bullet. So the physical sky is providing kind of that sunbeam that's coming over the bullet. Really gives it this very reflective look. So the first thing I did to make this happen was I captured some footage from Battlefield, and this is a Battlefield uh, uh, scene. So I took this Battlefield footage right here, and all it is is me in spectator mode flying up to the tank, and I think Volchan was actually driving this tank, and I tracked it using the After Effects tracking utility. Here's the 3D camera tracker. You can see all the little dots on here. The bullets coming out of the tank, and it's tracked in this 3D scene. There's many different track points here, but you can't really see them. Uh, but here would be like an example of some uh, track points that come out of After Effects. You know, I put some, uh, I put some squares just to kind of keep track of the major points of the scene. And that can be done in After Effects with the 3D tracker. Here, there's just like a random object that's floating in space just to give me an idea of where everything is located in space and that helps me to track the bullet 
to the right place. I do some more tutorials on After Effects tracking if you want to learn more about it. Just uh, search for my After Effects tracking tutorials. But this is what it looks like in 3D space. And the bullet actually travels quite a long way. And this never made it into uh, the intro. But I do show the bullet smashing into the 3D object and then shattering like crazy. If you want me to do an intro giveaway with this bullet smashing into your name in 3D or something, let me know. And I would like to make it for you. But yeah, this part never actually got that far uh, into the intro. Essentially what I did was I took the bullet and I gave it some rotation and I moved the bullet around so that it stuck with the camera and it gave it the perception that the bullet is flying through the scene. And it all started with a simple capture using Bandicam. All right guys, that's it for the tank scene. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. And if you want to see more of these behind the scenes tutorials, let me know and I'd be glad to show you. Cheers. All right guys, that's it for this video. You guys drive the content for this channel. So if you like this video and you learned something, please subscribe. Please give me a thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comments. Good luck and have fun.